Right, so we just covered uh, scientific notation for very, very small numbers. And the idea that we came across uh, uh, up with was this. If your decimal moved to the right, the exponent on base 10 is negative. And if your decimal point moved to the left, the exponent is positive. So we're going to do a couple of examples. Uh, I'm going to give you a few numbers to try. Um, I want you to pause the video after you see the questions and see if you can do them on your own first. And then when you've solved them on your own, come back and see my solution for them and see if you did it properly. So your first number to do is 0 0.000639. Your second number is 0 0.000002. Your third number is 0 0.003004. And finally, you have, oh, I wrote number three again. Finally, you have number four, 0 0.000008200. So pause the video, actually pause it, try the numbers based on what you learned in the previous video, and then come back to this video and see if you can solve, uh, look at my solution for them. So pause. Okay, we're back. Uh, hopefully you've tried these on your own and you've uh, you know, tried to come up with an answer on your own. Now let's go and look over this, uh, like now I'll just do the solution for you and you'll be able to see uh, if you did it properly or if you maybe missed a step. So I'm going to take it step by step for you. The first step, as we know, is to move the decimal point after the first number that is not a zero. So I'm going to move it after this six. So when I rewrite it, it will look like 6.39. Remember, those other numbers still count. You still have to include them. And then in scientific notation, we know it's always 10, 10 to the power of something in scientific notation. And in this case, I noticed that I'm moving my decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4 like that, one, two, three, four decimal points to the right. And I know if I'm moving my decimal point to the right, my exponent is going to be negative. Right is negative, left is positive. So right is negative, that means my exponent is going to be times 10 to the power of negative four. Uh, so that's that question. Let's try the next one. Again, I'm going to move the decimal point until it's after the first number that is not a zero. So that's my two. And when I rewrite that, it'll just look like two because you can put the decimal point there, but it's still just two, right? There's nothing after this two for me to add. And then times 10 to the power of something because I've moved my decimal point and in this case, I've moved it one, two, three, four, five, six times to the right. And if I've moved it to the right, that means it's going to be a negative number times 10 to the power of negative six. So that's uh, that one done. Let's look at 0 0.003004. The step says I have to move my decimal point after the first number that is not a zero, so after this one, the three. And when I rewrite that, it'll look like 3.004 because I have to include that other value for. And then I have to look at how many decimal points I moved it. So I moved it one, two, three points to the right. And if I moved it to the right, that means my answer is a negative. So negative three spaces times 10 to the power of negative three. And then for this last one, 
same thing. My first number that is not a zero is this guy right here. That means that when I rewrite this, I will write it as 8.2. Since that additional zero, I don't need. 8.20 is the same thing as saying 8.2. And then I'm going to count how many decimal points I moved and in which direction. So I moved it one, two, three, four, five, six decimal points to the right. So when I do times 10 to the power of six, hopefully you're all saying, no, Miss Noreen, that's a mistake. Because it's six to the right, that means it's negative six. Hopefully by this point, you've realized something about the numbers you're dealing with. Basically, if, so this is a note so that you should remember, if the exponent is negative, actually it's better if I start with uh, positive, you are multiplying, right? Uh, if you remember, like 2.3 times 10 to the power of 4, when you do it backwards, right, you're doing 2.3 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, right? 10 to the power of 4, that's what that equals. Uh, which ends up giving you two point, let's see, you move the decimal point four times and you get 23,000. There we go. You are multiplying. But if the exponent is negative, you are dividing. So I'm just going to highlight that for you. So when you say that same number, I'm going to make it a different color though. If you say 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative 4, to do that backwards, you have to move your decimal place over to the left four times. So you get 0 0.000, that's one, two, three, four, yeah, two, three. That's your number when you uh, undo the scientific notation. And that is the same thing as saying 2.3 divided by 10 four times. So when you when your exponent is positive, you multiply. When your exponent is negative, you divide. That would be a crucial thing to remember from this ex uh, exercise. So for class, you need to solve the following. Number one, so uh, it's write the following. In scientific notation. One, uh, 240,000. Let's start you off easy, 240,000. Number two, sorry, that's a bad two. I feel bad about that. I'll write it again, 240,000. 36,328,000. Number three, 0 0.0084. Uh, four. 0 0.0301 number 
five zero point zero 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 six two. Number six two hundred twenty. Number seven zero point two two zero. So solve these questions for our class and then we will take them up when you come back and we're going to see, you know, if you have some trouble, if you have any questions, make sure you write the questions down. So for example, if you just don't understand how to do four or you're not sure about it, in your own notes, make a little star next to it. And then remember to ask me to explain that particular one to you in the class and you'll probably help someone else out in the class as well.